is great to have you along. Research increasingly shows that some form of physical activity each day can lead to better health and a longer life. 74-year-old Atlantan Carolyn Hartfield knows from personal experience and serves as a role model. She's a health and wellness coach who is passionate about sharing her love of the outdoors with other senior citizens. Hartfield hosts several hikes throughout Georgia and the next is this Saturday at Sweetwater Creek. City Lights producer Summer Evans spoke with Carolyn Hartfield about her road to wellness. I grew up in the city. I was a girly girl and I had absolutely no interest in the outdoors. However, for my 56th birthday, I am one of those late bloomer baby boomers i was <laughs> invited <laughs> i was invited out on a hike and usually for my birthday i try and do something i've never done before so i accepted the challenge and my first hike ever in life was at blood mountain in the north georgia mountains oh awesome yes and it was one of the most exhilarating experiences I had had in my life. I was hooked the first time. Man, and that's not an easy hike for that to be your very first one. <laughs> and I didn't know it was supposed to be hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was enjoying it so much. And at the end of the hike, that's when the hike leader said, Carolyn, if you could do this one, you could do any of the trails we hike. This is one of our hardest ones. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. When did you realize this new found active lifestyle was improving both your mental as well as your physical health? Well, actually, that goes back a little bit to the last day of my 49th year when I went to the doctor and I was diagnosed as prehypertensive. I'm previous owner of health food stores, so I thought I was really doing pretty good, you know, health-wise. And I just absolutely refused to accept that. And I started walking right after that and uh, haven't stopped. <laughs> oh, wow. It just shows it's not even just what you eat, but how you are physically getting up and walking and running and everything. absolutely and and being active and my whole key is in my activities is to have fun so i don't grudgingly look forward to it i excitedly look forward to being in the outdoors and just enjoying nature and also meeting other people as well and um, I have to tell you, I felt like there must be other people out there like me. And that's when I started my group. Mm. Did you take any formal education classes in order to become a health and wellness coach? I did. I attended uh, Emory University for their uh, health coach training and also the uh, international oh i forgot the other one for the wellness coach <laughs> but i did get uh, certificates from from both of them yes and i owned uh, several health food stores for about five six years back in the 80s nice so you already had that basis of healthy foods and that sort of thing yes what have been some of your favorite adventures you've had since becoming more active and hiking and walking? Well, that's a very, very good question because I have gone zip lining. I have gone, and I'm not a strong swimmer, but I can swim. I have gone kayaking. I actually for one of my birthdays, went to visit a friend in Colorado and hiked the Rockies. That was the tallest. <laughs> and when I say hike, we actually backpack. And what made that so special 
was we had a full moon. We didn't even need our headlamps because we ended up uh, going up the side of the mountain at night, actually. Oh, my gosh. Yes, it, it, it it was really, really, that was phenomenal for me. That sounds exhilarating. Are people ever like surprised when they see you on a trail and you're just like keeping up with the rest of them? You know, do you ever get any looks or just like, wow, you're in such great shape? Yes and no, I guess I'll say. I don't really pay much attention to that, but usually with my groups, I'm usually the oldest one. So, (laughs) so I encourage those younger than me, look, if I can do this, I know you can also. (laughs) Absolutely. In 2022, you were named uh, as a Senior Planet Sponsored Athlete with AARP. What did that new title entail? Oh my gosh. First of all, I have to tell you that even though I do these activities that are fun, I never considered myself to be an athlete. So this was just such um, an honor to even be looked at as an athlete. I consider myself an unintentional athlete because of the things I do just for having fun. Several years prior to that, AARP had uh, honored me with um, to represent them with an award, Profiles and Positive Aging. And I wanna tell you, I'm just living my life, having a wonderful time. So to be a sponsored athlete, I stood up a little taller and (laughs) decided to have more fun. (laughs) Mm. When did you start the program Walk for Wellness? I started that actually in 2018. And one of the reasons for starting that is I know that not everyone is ready to go in the mountains to go hiking. So the Walk for Wellness, which is a part of Walk with the Doc, I did it at local parks just to get people out and comfortable walking. And then they would be able to, if you will, graduate into hiking on actual hiking trails. Mm. And how did you pivot during the pandemic? Well, I did not stop my walking. That's something that's just a part of me. But as far as group hikes, I actually did it virtually. And I visited various parks around Metro Atlanta. And I would introduce people to parks that may be in their community that they did not even know about. Because I lived where I am now for three years before I discovered the park that's just a couple miles from me. So people have been joining me virtually ever since. And I just started restarted the face-to-face so people are starting to come back and I still have the community of virtual walkers as well and they walk in place they walk in their neighborhood and we've built a support system a camaraderie because a lot of seniors like myself are single and just don't get out that much so we have bonded very well Mm, keep them connected even if it's not in person that's just so important and that encouragement that now you can give them you might not be there in the room with them but you can connect through the computer and motivate them that way that's wonderful and and let me add that's the other thing about oaks and senior planet because it is also about teaching or getting people encouraged about using technology, you know, and then that whole livable community thing with AARP, it just works together. It's just a natural fit. It really is. Mm, That's wonderful. I read that you like to refer to the active adults you work with as OPALs. What does this acronym stand for? Older people with active lifestyles and The tagline, I must add, is opals are very unique gems 
And that's what we are as older people. <laughs> <laughs> that's so great. <laughs> I really liked that connection. <laughs> I feel like when people reach a certain age, they become more stagnant, as you were saying. And it's sometimes not even due to their own will. It could be difficult walking, health issues, what have you. What advice do you give those who want to get out and walk or hike, but physically can't? I would say if you could even just sit out on your front porch or get some sunshine, sit in nature if you can't walk. And also, even though I walk quite a bit now, I've done a half marathon, but when I first started, I had no idea where it would take me. So I try to meet people where they are. Do not compare yourself. Do not try to keep up. If you can only walk five minutes a day, whatever it may be, do that. But just do what you can, and you will undoubtedly feel and experience how much better it makes you. And your doctor will tell you that, too, when you go back. That's what I've heard from some of my walkers. Mm -hmm. What have been some other stories you've received from seniors who have participated in your walks? Yes, one in particular, well, two that come to mind that I'll quickly share one is uh, one of the walkers she said that she could barely walk across her living room without being winded so she said she was never an outdoors person you know sit and watch tv and her doctor told her you need to walk at least half hour each day or five days a week and she said how can i do that you know i can't walk across my living room what is he talking about so, as we are sometimes, she said, I'll show him, I'll get it done. And six weeks after doing that, she found she had lost 10 pounds. She was walking with us in my Just Walk program. And we had been walking 45 minutes. And because we had conversation and socialization going on, she didn't realize that she had walked that long and how far. So that's one of the benefits of being with others that helps you to to move on. And one other quick story I'd love to share with oh, you. Oh, please do. There was this woman at the time, she was 91 years old and she was out walking and she was in training for the Peachtree Road Race, which is a 10K race. She was in training walking at the park because four generations of her family were going to do that together. I thought that was phenomenal. Wow, that's amazing. And one of the things that I definitely like to express, and that is as we're aging, to embrace the joys of aging and let that little light shine upon others so that they too may savor in the spices of life. Life just gets better. It's all in how you look at it. Health and wellness coach, Carolyn Hartfield. She'll lead a hike at Sweetwater Creek on Saturday beginning at 9 a.m. More information is available on our website wabe.org slash city lights coming up we'll talk with the award-winning filmmaker behind the web series the last bodega in brooklyn 